Hey everybody, it's Ad the Red, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sunrider First Arrival. Last we left off, we were back in Alliance territory after... Well, never mind, you I'm not gonna get in all this bullshit. Anyway, uh, this is the event scene. Uh, scene after doing a bit of character interaction with certain members of the crew, so let's get started. <clears throat> Captain, have you checked the Holovision? No. The Solar Alliance has just declared war on Pact. Admiral Gray is in the line for you. Oh joy. It seems like the invasion of Ryuvia finally woke up the Alliance. Oh, finally woke the Alliance up. Put me through. Captain, a pleasure to see you again. I'm not sure if I can say the same, honestly. Admiral Gray. Uh, yeah, <laughs> here we go. A pleasure to see you too, Admiral, or you put us in quite a bind at this Aversta. Hmm. And let's be formal about this. Word of your daring rescue of the princess has spread even here. I must say, Captain, I am quite impressed you made it out of that alive. Well, so am I. I have one hell of a team here, Admiral. I mentioned a lot of luck, apparently. Yeah, the rescue has mirrored the silver lining of a grim situation. But the fall of Ryuvia Pact is in the perfect position to strike Farport, the entryway into Alliance base. <clears throat> if Farport falls, Pact will flood into at least five populated Alliance systems before we can even muster our forces. The Alliance has not seen a war fought within our own soil in a hundred years. In Pact, occupation of an Alliance planet is not an option. We must hold Farport if we are to win this war. We're already in position here at Farport. We just need some repairs and supplies. I have sent four of our closest fleets to Farport to mount a defense. After, after the death of our diplomats on Versta, I tried my best to mobilize our fleets. It was not easy. Years of neglect has made our fleets inefficient. Everything is blocked behind red tape now. Our supply chains were broken. Virtually everything had to be remade from scratch. Of the fleets I've dispatched, only one will make it in time to meet the packed fleet. Our fleets are vast and mighty, but it will still take time to muster our strength. You must hold out at Farport until our full forces arrive. What is the size of the enemy fleet? Our intelligence reports that five pack fleets are converging on Farport's position. The commander of the attack will be Vinajar Cullen. Oh, great, fatty. Uh, I believe you're already familiar with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, indeed. Altogether, I predict at least seven battleships, six carriers, 80 cruisers, and over 400 support vessels. Yeah. This is gonna suck. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, altogether, I predict, I predict at least seven battleships, six carriers, 80 cruisers, and over 400 support vessels. Further, we believe Arcadius himself will observe the battle from his flagship, the Legion. If we only have one fleet to defend the planet, we're at number nearly one to five. Those aren't good, ar good odds, Admiral. Yes, which is why I'm appointing you my special advisor. Me. Ha! Uh, look. Not a good idea. Really, no, you don't want to do that. You do not want to put me in charge of anything involved in this. You want a better senior advisor. You want someone with, okay, well, experience is a bit of a tricky thing here, seeing as how there hasn't been a war in, hundreds, in centuries, as you've previously mentioned. Uh, hmm. I may have actually seen more action than a lot of your top uh, officials, as odd as that is. <sighs> You're the only one who f who's fought those odds. Nobody in the Alliance fleet has even seen a pack vessel close. Okay, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yet you know how they operate. You're the only person we've, we have who fought them outside of simulators. Your mission is the defense of the Alliance Gateway World, Farport. You must hold out there until our reinforcements arrive. Understood, Admiral. I know I'm asking much. Until we prepare for the battle, I'm sending you one of my personal advisors to your starship. Ah, I think I've seen glimpses of this character, if, I, if I'm uh, assuming correctly. I understand that you're currently looking for more pilots. I'm sure she'll be a valuable asset to your crew. Anything would be a valuable asset to me at this moment, really. We'll need all the help we can get. Thank you, Admiral. Or wait, an Alliance officer driving aboard my ship? I'm not sure that's really necessary. No, uh, thank you, Admiral. Absolutely. She's a talented pilot and loyal officer. I'm sure she'll fit right in with your crew. She's already been dispatched and will arrive with the second fleet by tomorrow. I expect she'll be given due care. That'll be all for now, Captain. My lieutenant will give you the specifics for the coming battle when she arrives. Admiral Gray out. An alliance officer here. I'm not sure if the crew would like this. That admiral sure is pushy.
Dun 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 dun. Really? Yeah. Well, that's some extra editing for me to do. Thank you, game. God damn it. Pa, so good to be back. I never thought I'd get out of that gem in one piece. Irk. Yeah, well, what am I thinking? So much stuff's happened, but the only thing I could think about is the captain. Come on, Asaga, put yourself together. You're the queen now. Except that just makes everything worse. Ugh, this sucks. Yeah, you know what? It kind of does. Did you really have to put this in the game? I mean, was it absolutely necessary? I'm only getting worked up here because now I actually have to do some minor editing. A, bit, a little, tiny bit of tweaking here. Jesus Christ. I'm so hot down there just thinking... Oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh. Hurry up in there. What's taking forever? E uh, hang on. Oh, Ikari, why don't we just all shower together if you're going to be so impatient? Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? You would be the one to... <sighs> Sh shut up. Like I would ever want to see you, your ch chest rock. Jesus Christ. You have to beat it on the bush? You're already putting uh, actual nudity in the game. You really, really, really have to skimp here. Do you really have to circumvent breasts? Just fucking say it, goddammit. Sniffle. Okay, okay, I'm done. That's much better, thank you. God damn it. I'm not a fan of fan service at all. <sighs> because I'm not sure if I call that nudity there particularly artistic in terms of any themes or anything, so. <sighs> ah, whatever. Moving on. Ugh, what am I thinking lately? No, no, this isn't the time for that. You've got to fight to win a saga. Come on, you're the hero of justice for freedom and equality. Uh, it's not working. Wow, that's creepy. Uh, uh. You are the queen. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. How long have you been there? The stars give me peace. You know, you don't have to call me that. I'm just a saga. I am Sola. What are you doing here? Reflecting. Farport was a mighty trade world during my time. Merchants from across, from across the Empire gathered here to engage in commerce and exchange ideas. It was the gateway to the Core Worlds, where Ryuvian Splendor met the exotic cultures of outsiders. And it was the place where I was born. Yet now, it is merely an abandoned world, where civilization has been overtaken by the wilderness. One day, this place will be a burst, a bustling port again. After we send Pack, pack it back to New Eden, Ryuvi will grow again. Our empire has become weak. Our enemies have stolen our technology. Our culture has been forgotten. That's why we gotta change. It was our own arrogance that which led to our fall. The Ravian lords became too selfish. Sons killed their fathers and brothers betrayed brothers all for a piece of the Ravian dream. Sounds like Russia. In the end, in our own fight to own the Empire, we destroyed the very thing we wanted. We're gonna make a new Ravia where the leaders act for the good of the people. Keep dreaming! <laughs> that never happens. Because any civilization run by humanity will be overtaken by... Humanity. Dun da da da. Therefore, imperfection, corruption, all sorts of bullshit. The Talbot was right to them, made only for you. You decided the captain to lead by your side. <laughs> no, no, no. Whatever gave you that idea? Oh, ha 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 ha. The captain's got his own mission the total surrender of Pact and the liberation of his homeworld, Sarah. Your face. Eh? It is red. 
Uh, well, time to calibrate the blackjack for the big battle. You better get yourself ready too. Wah ha 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 ha. Very well earned ellipses. She's still no queen. Captain, the second fleet has arrived, and our guest is waiting for us in the hangar. Right, well, let's go meet our new guest. I like the music, by the way. Don't mind me just kind of enjoying it for a bit. They did pick some good tracks for this game, I gotta admit. Right, well, let's go meet our new guest. I don't know if I said that or not yet. Whatever. Are you sure this is wise, Captain? Letting foreign military personnel on board the ship, I mean. I mean, in real life, military exchange advice all the time, you know? It happens. I'm not sure if... Well, no, never mind. I'm not an expert on the subject. No, let's just say the Admiral insisted. Let's see who she is before making any judgments, though. Understood, Captain. Lieutenant Chris Casteris. Steris? I want to say Steris, that sounds better. Lieutenant Chris Casteris, Board of Duty, sir. Hey, he's Lieutenant, and I'm Captain Cato Shields, and this is First Officer Ava Crescentia. Welcome aboard the Sunrider. My pleasure, sir. I have been ordered by Admiral Gray himself to serve as the Alliance Liaison Officer on board the Sunrider. I look forward to working with you, Captain. Uh, yeah. Tell me about yourself, Lieutenant. Rank, Lieutenant First Class, 22 years of age. Previous service, Commander of the Air Group on board the Alliance Carrier Mon Mon Montesquieu. Montesquieu? I think that's how you say it. Hometown, New Seattle, Luna. New Seattle, huh? Luna! New Seattle on Luna. Earth isn't actually on this, is it? Because that... Moving on. You were an alliance... Uh, you were an alliance CAG? C-A-G? I don't know how you would pronounce... Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, what are you doing here on the Sunrider? I go over my duties uh, requirement to, ma'am. A long way from home, at least. Did you come with your own rider? Yes, Captain. I've already arranged how the Paladin transferred to the Sunrider. You will find it a fine compliment to your current rider wing, I'm sure. I'm sure I will. Glad to hear. Uh, you're a member of our crew now. Feel free to make yourself at home. Thank you, sir. Ava will help you move into our crew quarters. You think you can squeeze one more person into the female quarters, Ava? I've already taken the liberty of converting the male quarters to accommodate the growing size of our female crew. Well, obviously I will not allow any males to join our team in light of the modifications I made. <laughs> uh, he don't say. I didn't expect there to be any male characters to begin with. Even that Ava knows how to crack a joke, huh? Or is she actually serious? I'm guessing she's here for the way that stare was. Oh boy! Okay. And, right, we have got a lot to do, don't we? Oh boy. What to do, what to do. I think I might just call this video here and then get to all of this next episode. Yeah. That sounds like, uh, that sounds like a good plan. In which case, I will start with Kriska then. Oh, Jesus, I kind of expected this. Yep, okay. Next episode then. See you later.